Hello, I'm Prashant Gandhi, Chief Product Officer at Big Switch. Today, I would like to share with you exciting innovations occurring in the networking world, specifically in regard to next generation network OS architectures leveraging open source components. Many end users have complained about lack of innovations in networking, that networking is the bottleneck to their journey to software defined data center and private cloud. At OCP Summit, Facebook, Google, and Big Switch are demonstrating new network innovations, specifically in next-gen NOS architectures built on Open Network Linux and leveraging open networking hardware. Why is this a game changer? Well, let's dig deeper. In the 1990s, Ethernet and IP led the way to massive transformation in networking, providing open protocols, lower cost, and vendor choice. However, as Gartner has recently pointed out, much of the networking innovation in recent times has been driven by hyperscale organizations, not traditional networking vendors. And these hyperscale-led innovations have tangible applicability to regular folks in the enterprise. Let's look at some examples. Leaf-spine fabric designs initially were deployed in hyperscale data centers a decade ago. It is now widely deployed in enterprises. SDN fabrics were discussed early part of this decade. In the last few years, thousands of enterprises have been deploying vendor-supported SDN fabrics. Open network hardware came to prominence with Google's Pluto and Facebook's Wedge projects. And over 1,000 enterprises are now enjoying the benefits of hardware choice and lower cost. The reason for lack of innovation in networking is primarily due to the mainframe-like mindset in networking, where hardware and software are tightly coupled. Think of this legacy architecture as NetFrame, mainframe of networking. In the NetFrame world, end users have no control, no vendor choice, and it's very expensive. On the contrary, in the compute world, mainframes, minis, workstations gave way to open modular architecture with industry standard x86 server hardware, open source Linux OS, and virtualization and containerization layers on the top. Similarly, there is a new wave of innovation in networking OS led by hyperscalers to make next-gen NOS open and modular, running on open networking hardware. Broadly speaking, the next-gen NOS has three components. Platform OS based on open network Linux, which is an open source project in OCP, device operations layer, and the forwarding stack. With modularity, innovation can occur independently across different layers of the stack, thus dramatically speeding up system level innovation. This is exactly what happened in the compute world, and we are finally at that inflection point in networking. And moreover, end users get control, vendor choice, and much lower cost. There are three demonstrations of the next gen NOS at the OCP summit. First is by Facebook, where open source FBOSS is running on Open Network Linux and OCP's Open Networking Switch, providing routing. Second is by Google, demonstrating next-gen SDN NOS, or Project Stratum, with P4 programming on Open Network Linux as a substrate. Again, demonstrating routing. Finally, a next-gen NOS concept from Big Switch, demonstrating open source BGP routing on an ONL-based Open Networking Switch. SaaS organizations, service providers, cloud providers can leverage the next-gen NOS concepts and customize for their own use. These demonstrations make it clear that bottom layers of the stack are now standardized and in some ways commoditized. Innovation is occurring at the upper layers of the stack. What is remarkable is that open networking hardware and now open source networking software has re-energized the networking industry. This slide shows rapid pace of innovation occurring in both networking hardware and software. And over the next few years, nearly a quarter of the data center's Ethernet switches are expected to be open networking, either white box or bright box switches. Also, there is broad acceptance of OCP's Open Network Linux as the platform OS of choice across many open networking hardware and open source projects including FBOSS, CORD, and Stratum. ONL is now supported on 68 
open networking switches, both white box and bright box, from 11 switch vendors. Given the broad appeal of ONL, Big Switch has now implemented ONL GOAT certification program to continuously test newer ONL versions. Multiple switches from HPE, Edgecore, Quanta, and Delta are now gold certified. I get asked, hey, open source is great, but what about production quality, fully tested code? This is a huge plus for ONL. Our own big switches, SDN Fabric Solutions, Big Cloud Fabric for data center switching, and Big Mon for data center monitoring and security are built on top of ONL. So ONL is tested each time we deliver a new release and has been deployed by hundreds of enterprise and service provider and SaaS customers in production data center. So in summary, I believe we are at the cusp of a critical innovation cycle in networking, driven by the open modular next-gen NOS architecture built on top of Open Network Linux and Open Switch hardware. If you'd like to see the next-gen NOS demonstrations from Facebook, Google, and BigSwitch, please continue to the demo video. Thanks for watching.